Hey there, it's Darwin Wiggett from Upamu, and here is a video supplement to our new ebook called Sam and Darwin's Seven Quick and Dirty Processing Shortcuts for Lazy Photographers. In this video, we'll show you how we set up our camera raw defaults so that every raw image we open in camera raw will have the same starting point. The very first thing we do is go to the workflow options bar, which can be found at the bottom of camera raw and is highlighted in blue. Let's click on it and it'll bring up all of our workflow options and there's various options that you can select from. We are only interested in three, color space, bit depth and image sizing. The first thing we want to do is change our color space to something larger than sRGB, which is a web color space, something like Adobe RGB 1998 or Profoto RGB. Both of those color spaces are wide gamut spaces that can contain the colors that your camera captures. The widest one is Profoto RGB and generally we choose this one because for sure it can contain all the colors that our sensor can capture. The next thing we want to do is change our bit depth. Now most of our cameras are capturing in 12 or 14 bit depth uh, instead of 8 bits per channel and we want to put all of that data into our processed image. If we chose 8-bit, then we're going to clip or take away some of that data. So we're going to put it in 16-bit. It's a large container that all of our 12 or 14-bit of data can be contained within and we've got the best data possible. So let's choose 16 bits per channel. Uh, this is especially important when we're shooting raw images. And the last thing we might want to do is change the image si sizing. We do not want to change the actual size of the image. Um, we want to keep it at its native resolution. So when it says something like default and it gives you a resolution, that's your camera's native resolution. Leave it at that. You might want to change the pixel per inch resolution to something that's usable or an industry standard like 300 pixels per inch, which is used in the publishing industry, the stock in industry, and also is very useful for making inkjet prints. Once we're We've got our three uh, color space, bit depth, and resolution selected. We press OK. And then these options are permanently saved in Camera Raw. So any image we bring into Camera Raw will have Profoto 16-bit native resolution, 300 pixels per inch applied to it. Perfect. Now let's go to these sliders. The first sliders we have, of course, are white balance. And we can vary the white balance by choosing from the drop down menu or we can vary the white balance by moving the sliders, temperature and tint. We like to have by default whatever white balance we've chosen in the camera and shot with in the field is the white balance that, that Camera Raw will start with. So we always pick as shot. So this is the as shot settings for this particular camera in that lighting condition that we've chosen. All the other sliders, we like a starting point of zero. So we manually go in and zero everything out. We don't want to do that every single time. We want to set these zero positions as a default. So get everything to zero. And of course, you can just go into the dialog box where it's highlighted in blue here and just type in zero. But now we've got these all at zero, a perfect starting point for every image. We want Camera Raw to remember that for every image it brings in. So we'll show you how to do that in a second. That was the basic tab. The only other tab we're going to set some defaults in is the detail tab. So click on the detail tab and you'll see that there's some sharpening applied to this image and there's some noise reduction. We don't want any sharpening or noise reduction to our image because we always sharpen for output for the reasons explained in our ebook and we never sharpen our master file. Also, we don't need noise reduction because we capture in camera correct exposures that give us images that are basically noise free. So we turn off noise reduction. If we ever had to do noise reduction, we'd probably use des dedicated noise reduction software. So once we've set the detail tab and the basic tab to the zero settings, then all we do is go to this tiny little micro triangle here off to the side, click on it, and it'll bring up a bunch of settings we can choose from. And we just want the second from the bottom save new camera raw defaults. So now every time we open an image from this particular camera, in this case a 70D, each image will always start off zeroed out. 
all zero and zero sharpening, zero noise reduction. If we're using more than one camera, say that we have several uh, different cameras that we own, for each of these uh, raw images from each camera, we will have to save the new camera raw defaults from this menu. Once we do that, every image we open will have nothing applied to it and it's a great starting point to then mess around with these sliders. And what you do with these sliders, well that's the subject of our ebook and our seven quick and dirty processing shortcuts. And one of the shortcuts is what we do in Camera Raw to make great images to move into Photoshop. So check it out. Anyway, all for now. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial.